Welcome to ISAF Monitor. I'm standing here with Gonzalo Peralta, the Executive Director of Languages Canada. Gonzalo, spotlight on Canada, please, uh, Canadian education. What's going on in 2012? Well, I think we're continuing our uh, efforts to ramp up presence in different markets. I think that's really, really important. There's a lot of collaboration that's happening between the different education stakeholders in Canada. Uh, from universities, from colleges, from primary and secondary, and of course ourselves representing the language sector. Uh, I think this collaboration is going to lead to really um, an increased and more powerful presence abroad. Uh, the government is also has um, agreed to invest $5 million a year to promote international education in Canada. And the advisory panel that responds to the Ministers of Finance and International Trade is set to deliver in June their recommendations on how this should be done. So we expect that by the fall, uh, this investment will begin to flow. So expect to see a lot more of us in the upcoming year. It's very really interesting. Um, let's maybe um, focus a bit on immigration laws mm -hmm. or change of visa policies. Is there anything going on there which could interest me if I would uh, be an agent sending students to Canada? Yeah, uh, I, I think on a couple of fronts there are some very interesting things happening. Uh, Languages Canada itself has uh, decided that strategically it's important for our sector to invest in, in research and in advocacy efforts in this area. We have uh, full-time personnel on it now, and of course, um, this will support our agents abroad because anything that we can do to deal with issues that come, come up in a market or with broader policy issues uh, will have a positive impact. We obviously are interested in the safety of Canada and the safety of students, so all our efforts are really geared towards supporting agents in terms of bringing the right students to the application process. On another front, uh, Citizenship and Immigration Canada is working on a plan to replace the international student program to something that would be far more effective, faster, and would have an online component in which Canadian educational institutions that are eligible are able to participate. Again, this will facilitate the whole visa process and we're hoping will uh, increase processing times and processing um, rates for visas. The provinces are involved and at this point uh, of the process basically there's consultation going on between the provinces and Citizenship and Immigration Canada. Languages Canada is an active participant. Uh, we're being consulted as stakeholders in the process. Due dates are December for sort of a final design and launch of the new system early next year. We're hoping that sometime in March or in the spring of 2013. Excellent, um, really interesting. Um, if, I, if you would imagine I would be a language institution in Canada and um, I would like to become a member of Languages Canada, mm -hmm. how would I do that? <coughs> what would be the next step for me? It's actually very easy. Just go to our website, um, www.languagescanada.ca. At the website, just find the contact info and send an email to info at Languages Canada. It will come to the right person, and that person, Linda Ozens, our Director of Member Services, is an expert. She'll guide you through the whole process. Um, I do have to say that we have increased membership from 152 member programs in 2010 to 177 as of right now, with more coming. There's, there's three or four more in the pipeline. Uh, so. Uh, membership is increasing, I think, for two reasons. Number one is people are seeing the value of what we bring, the way we represent them uh, in terms of uh, policy efforts and so on, but also the way we're supporting their marketing efforts abroad because they're finding that when they actually get to the destination, they're not having to sell Canada as much. We are doing that for them. So what they can do is they can focus on their educational products and services. That's very powerful. Excellent answer. Thank you. Thank Gonzalo. You.